He's been a model, he's been a bouncer, he's spent seven years on the job as an investigator, and he also runs now one of the most preeminent security firms in the United States. Lou Palumbo joins me now. He is the director of Elite Intelligence and Protection, a leading international private security firm. Lou Palumbo is a retired law enforcement agent from Nassau County Police Department. Joining us, retired law enforcement agent Lou Palumbo. Joining us right now is retired NYPD detective and private investigator. Lou Palumbo, thanks for being here this morning. Lou Palumbo, who is the security chief for the Golden Globe. Lou Palumbo. Palumbo is a former investigator with the Nassau County Police Department. Retired law enforcement agent Lou Palumbo. Well, I'm born and raised in New York City, attended grammar school, high school, and college. I spent a number of years in law enforcement. I've spent 40 years in the private security field. And the common denominator to my life is I've spent a whole lifetime taking care of people. The purpose for creating Between the Lines is to try to bring focus to a lot of the topics or issues that are dividing this country today and ultimately to enhance or guarantee a better future for our children. We're going to talk about a myriad of topics, gun control, pro-choice, gay rights, the borders, illegal immigration, the divisive nature of our politicians, the decision by the media to become extensions of our political parties. We're going to speak to a myriad of topics that I can answer or give you some kind of commonsensical, logical, and most importantly, truthful response. The exercise is to eliminate the divisive rhetoric to try to stop this pattern that lends itself to animus and separation. We need to learn how to galvanize, not polarize. I embrace common sense logic. I empathize, to be honest with you. That'll oftentimes bring you the perspective of other people, which will help you understand better. But pretty much you have to abandon your own personal agenda so you can absorb information and grow. I think the importance of having two different perspectives is the fact that we will learn that there's oftentimes merit in each other's argument. And through that discussion, you come to what we call compromise, something that's lacking in the culture. It's okay to have opposing views. What's not okay is when you don't have an open mind in your discussion. It's never my way or the highway. That is not productive. In fact, it's, it's even more than counterproductive, it's dangerous. I embrace their right that they don't have to agree with everything that I say. And I'm not threatened by it. And oftentimes I learn from them because they might have a different perspective than I have. The exercise is to keep an open mind and be secure enough take an information or stimulus that's contrary to what you may know or may have grown up with.